Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Every day this holds people back from realizing their dreams, from leading fulfilling, exciting lives. What is it? Stepping outside of our comfort zone. We just don't do it. We have fear. Fear comes up with everything and then we stop and we just do our days like we do, but there's more out there. Let's get outside of the comfort zone. Let's look at that through the eyes of an integrative nutrition health coach for men. He is back with us. David Fair joins us on the program today. David, welcome. Thank you very much, Steve. I appreciate it. Nice having you back here. And what we're talking about is kind of universal for all of us that we usually don't get outside of our comfort zone. I'm guessing because many of us don't like change. And with with when you step outside, there is going to be a little bit of change. Um, am I right in thinking that? Yes. Most people don't like to move outside of their uh, comfort zone or the space that they've created for themselves. And because it's it's a, a space that's familiar to them, right? They don't have to think about much of anything because it's uh, just a regular path that they would normally take. And but by going outside of our comfort zones and moving into places that are a little bit more on the uh, other side of uh, what we're normally comfortable with, we expand ourselves. And by doing so, we move into a new level of existence for ourselves. We push things forward. And uh, we become a stronger, stronger person by doing so. How do we or should we view it? Let's say there's something that's going to be potentially uncomfortable. Let's say there's an event coming up for business. We know we should go. Part of us says, well, there's going to be a lot of people I don't know. And I'm not really that comfortable just walking up and talking to just random people. Uh, but I know and I always go with with your inspiration, your gut. It's saying, you should go. You should be there. This is a good event for you. But you're uncomfortable going. How do you get outside that? And how do you push yourself, in this example, to, to go to the event? Um, what I would do, and I've done this myself before, is to set yourself up uh, with your phone or your computer or camera or something like that and pretend you're actually at the event and pretend you're talking to another person, a stranger, and um, just become comfortable with just general speaking with, with somebody and stuff. And then listen to yourself and view yourself and see if there's things that you could change and maybe improve to help you feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more relaxed. Because um, right now I'm doing something that's fully new for me too. So <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but uh, you know, I'm just doing the best I can. And, uh, you know, just take it, take it as it comes because, you know, we've all been there at one point in time where we're totally new to something. Um, I'm always learning new skills and new, uh, new abilities to further myself in my, in my life and in my, my business and career or whatever the case may be and stuff. And it's just taking that step outside, that little step outside the, that comfort little area and stuff. It's just like, you know, going for a walk or something. And sometimes you go down the same path. And then one time you decide, well, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go down the path on the right rather than the path on the left. And you discover new things along the way uh, that uh, make you stop and think, well, maybe I should do this with my life in general. Maybe I should try new things and step outside of that uh, safe little space that I'm in because it's going to give me something new and something fresh. And it's also going to help me to help other people that are uh, doing these things and stuff because Right now, I notice that there's a lot of people in transitions. So they're transitioning mm -hmm. from, say, uh, new job, new career. They're transitioning from single to this and, and so on and so forth. And by doing little things, it uh, will help build a stronger presence and a better connection too, which is the biggest thing for everybody is to have that connection between two parties. How about visualization? Because this has worked for me. Uh, there's been times where you know I'm uncomfortable doing something. You know, I know I should get out of my comfort zone. Whatever, I'll just visualize it as if I've already been there. So let's take that um, that work event that somebody didn't want to go to. They weren't comfortable. Didn't know any people there. 
But if you visualize it, and I'll do this for anything I do, any event I have to go to, any everything, I'll picture myself already there. And in my mind, well, how's it going to go? Who's going to be there? Who's not going to be there? What's the tone going to be? Where's it going to be located? What are people going to be wearing? Don't want to overdress. Don't want to underdress. Um, what kind of things can I talk about? Just even you know, meet somebody new. What What do we have? Let's say there were major thunderstorms that rolled in. It's relatable to everybody. Maybe we'll you know use that as an opening. I'll visualize it before it happens. And more times than not, it's about right. It's about right. I don't know if that's the right way to go about doing things, but I don't know. It's been working for me. Yeah. Well, visualization, visualization is a very strong thing to do and stuff, especially when you like you say here, when you're stepping outside of your comfort zone, because it builds builds some uh, familiarity for you and stuff, because you've already basically seen it in your mind's eye. Yep. So then you're making it come into fruition because you've already started the process of creation and stuff. So that is actually a really, really good way to go about uh, doing something that's a bit different and stuff. And the other thing too is is uh, if you have people that are already doing what you're doing and want to do and you want to learn and you bring them on board with what you're trying to do, that sometimes does help too as well. And stuff by getting a little bit of a, a mentor or a coach, for example, um, changes things up so that you don't feel um, as pressured or um, as nervous as it, the case may be. Like public speaking is, you know, a big thing for a lot of people and stuff and doing something that's totally outside of their comfort zone um, takes a little bit of uh, time to, 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 to come together and stuff. So um, that's why I like, like I say, learning new and different things and stuff so that I can stretch myself past my comfort zone so that I can become stronger and better at what I do. I think also if you look back at what it will feel like after you do it, how wonderful that feeling is. And I think of things even in the last couple of years I've done, I was a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I like think back and I'm like, man, I'm proud. I did that. That was all right. That went really well. That was interesting. Um, what about those things that get in our way in terms of the comfort zone and we use as excuses? For example, let's say you're going to travel alone. Never did it before. And, and, What's blocking you is, well, I don't know if I should really spend the money, but I know I should go. Something tells me I, I really need to, you know, get away and I should, you know, get some time to think by myself. Um, you know, guilt. Oh, well, you know, that I shouldn't be taken off from work or I should, you know, need to focus my time on somebody else. Those excuses that we make. How do we get past all of those? Well, I think it's just a matter of uh trying to put into focus on where you want to be and what you want to have happen for yourself. And uh, the biggest thing I find too, is like you're saying is you're going to hear those things that are pop up or those obstacles, I would say that just all of a sudden show up for us because when we start moving forward and we're starting to progress in a, in a strong, positive manner in our life, then all sorts of obstacles will just show up and appear out of nowhere and try and stop us from doing it or derail us from doing it and stuff. And, and uh, saying to yourself, okay, so what is going to happen if I don't do this? And what is going to happen if I do do this? What are the positive aspects of um, what I'm trying to achieve for myself? Like going on a trip is a really good thing, especially when you're trying to, you know, reduce your stress level, right? Because we need some downtime. We, like we're always going, going, going having some downtime, some quiet time, some you and the family time is a big thing nowadays and stuff because most people, most men are go, go, go. They don't stop. They don't take time for themselves and they don't take time to be with their the people that are in our lives and stuff. So saying that, okay, well, if I take this vacation, that's going to mean I'm going to have some more time to connect and I'm going to have some more time to to be present and stuff because for a lot of us, we go through life in a big blur. It's just like, just go do our thing, do whatever we're supposed to be doing and then go to the next day and do the same thing, same thing, same thing. So by taking that time out and just taking some time for yourself and maybe family members as well, 
it gives you more time to connect with each other and it builds a stronger bond, a stronger connection. And it also shows them that, you know, it's okay to take time for yourself. It's okay to focus on this part of your life for a bit and stuff. There, there's nothing wrong with that. It just builds a, uh, a better, better connection with yourself and with the people around you and stuff. Because when they see you doing positive things, they want to do positive things as well and stuff, right? Like, it's just by observation that they, they learn these things. And even past, when they go past the uh, teen years and stuff, they're still going to look and see what you're doing because that's a reflection on them as a whole as well because of the connection and stuff. How about fear? That's a, that's a big one there as well. Over every coming the, the fear. Fear. Uh, well, I can speak a lot from that one. <laughs> Cause like I say, this is something totally new for me. I've just, and you're like, doing great by I've the been... way. It's like the, the, it's fantastic. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, you know, okay, what? Okay, so I was a little fear, uh, fearful and stuff, and I just had things stop me. I was listening to those little voices in your head that say, well, you know, just don't go too fast. Don't do this. Don't do that. And stuff. And then I just said to myself, you know what? Why am I doing that? Why am I listening to the little voices in my head? Or why am I listening to other people say things that are the reflection of what they're uh, happening in their own lives and stuff? Because what's happening in one person's life isn't necessarily what's happening in your life. And just going about uh, the way of thinking of, you know, I can do it. You know, like fear is only as strong as the fear itself, right? It's as much power as you give it or as much power as you take away, right? Like, you know, you think back, think back to the times of uh, your ancestors and, and, and things like that and, you know, like your grandfather or grandmother or whatever, and like way, way, way back when, you know, they were traveling from point A to point B and stuff. If if they didn't do that, you wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be here, right? So they just said, you know what? I'm just going to do it and I'm just going to not listen to that, that little voice that's trying to tell me to stop because the more I push forward, even a little bit, it, it doesn't have to happen overnight. It doesn't have to happen like right away, but just little pieces at a time can make you achieve your goals better than trying to gnaw off the whole piece at, a, at like one, one going, right? Like, you know, climbing up that mountain, like um, moving forward at a steady pace rather than uh, trying to run up the mountain, you're going to get up that mountain better and stronger. And the next time you go up that mountain again, you're going to go up even faster because you've taken the time to build yourself up and to, to gain the strength that you, that you truly need and stuff. Because like I say, fear is only as strong as you give it. And it's as only strong as the powers that you um, hand over to it and stuff. It's just like, you know, if someone says something to you and they're in a kind of a negative mindset and stuff, you can either take that mindset on, or you can say, well, okay, that's where they are at their, their point in life. And that's where they are at that point in time. But that's not where I'm at. And that's not where I'm going to be. Because I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it forward to be in a, a positive light and positive energy. It's just like energy is all around us and stuff, right? You know, the more positive energy we have and the, the stronger mindset we give ourselves and also those around us, it's amazing how you start off with one person and one person is doing something totally different than they normally do. And then somebody else sees that it can be a friend, a family member, acquaintance. It really doesn't matter. Right. And they say, Hey, you know what? I decided since I saw you doing X, Y, Z, I'm going to try ABC. And they're like, Oh, okay, cool. And then how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's going great. Okay. You're doing it. It's like, and then the energy feeds off of each other and then it moves forward to the, the next level. And you didn't try something new and something different and stuff. Never let fear pull you back because the fear is as only as strong as you give it. And the same thing with, you know, good energy. The more energy you give into the positive, the better you have of moving forward to where you want to be. It's like learning something new. I'm always learning something new. I'm always trying something different because it makes it so that I become a stronger person for myself, but also for the people that I work with and stuff to show them that like, you know, it's going to be a little scary. You're going to have a little bit of hesitation. You're going to have people say to you, stop. No, you can't do that. That's not possible. I wouldn't do that mm -hmm. because the naysayers are there 
to try and pull you back because they're too fearful in their own life and they're listening to that fear voice to talk to them to move forward, right? So by listening to, like you were saying before, your instincts, right? Instincts are a very big thing too here, right? Instincts will tell you that you're doing something in the right manner and it's also going to tell you when you're doing something in the wrong manner, right? Sometimes you're going to do things and it's just going to go like that, right? Well, that's life. You just move forward from that and go, okay, well, I made a mistake. I fell on my face. I'm going to get back up and I'm going to figure out what I did wrong, learn from those mistakes and just move it to the, the next level where you want to be, not where everybody else is telling you you should be, but where you see yourself to be. That's the matter here is what you see. Nobody else but you. Isn't fear future-based where we wonder what if and the what if is always in the future whether it's five seconds or five minutes or five days or five weeks or five years it's always the future i don't know about you but i can't tell the future <laughs> I'm not, exactly not, right? yeah, exactly you're exactly right exactly it is everything most fear comes from something that's yet to come and stuff right like you know we always build up things bigger than they are and then when it happens, they're like, you're like, whoa, that didn't happen the way I thought it would. It's just like we're talking about the mindset thing, right? By you visualizing the way you want to have things to go, it comes into creation because you've already started the process, mm. right? You know, it's like that, uh, what was that book back a while back there? Um, well, I forget the name of it, but there was a book that would talk about creation and, and bringing things into fruition and things like that. And visualization one of the biggest was one of the biggest things. And also writing down what you're trying to accomplish and stuff. Because by writing it down, by picturing it, and by saying it and speaking it, it brings it into stronger creation so that it becomes a reality. And then next thing you know, you're like, wow, you know what? I look back from where I was before, like, I would imagine when you first started out, you started out, you know, at the beginning stages of your career and you were a little bit nervous on what you were doing, right? Honestly. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. And then you stepped outside of that fear and you just said to yourself, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm just not going to listen to that fear and I'm going to push forward and I'm going to do the things I need to do in order to move myself forward to become what I want to be and not where I'm at at this point in time. Because everybody is always in the moment. At this moment, right now that we're talking, it's not going to be here tomorrow or five seconds from now. It's always moving forward. So by understanding that life in, is going to change and there's always going to be new moments coming up, stepping outside of that and into a more you know, positive uh, manner of thinking and, and seeing things, it's going to move us forward to the, the level that we want to be and stuff, right? Like if you're doing something totally different, of course you're going to make a little bit of hiccups and there's going to be a little bumps in the road and stuff like that. By accepting the bumps, accepting the little mistakes that we make, makes us a stronger person and stuff. And, you know, by having um, uh, experiences, new experiences, it builds a stronger connection uh, for our brains too because it's been scientifically proven that if you want to stave off... Um, different uh brain problems in the future when you're older you need to keep learning things because by building new synapses in your brain makes it so that you have a stronger brain down the road and your brain's going to act like when you were 30 rather than when you're 90 because it, it's having those new experiences and, it, and it's building those new new connections and things like that and stuff and you know, emotional connections and intellectual connections and spiritual connections and, and all those things makes it so that yeah. you become a, a stronger and better person as a, as a whole. It's, it's the same thing with the physical body. If you're not moving it, you're going to lose it. And I experienced that recently. I went back to the gym more actively, had the same trainer I used two years ago. And I'm like, wow, man, my legs are just not the way they used to be. They're stiff and I can't stretch the way I used to. And she goes, 
that's because you weren't using them. But I am walking around. She goes, for the most part, you've been sitting for a while. I'm like, yeah. And she's, that's it. Exactly. 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 It's a, it has all to do with that blood flow that we, I was talking about before. Uh, you know, if you are stagnant for a long period of time, your blood starts to flow down into certain areas of your body and it doesn't have a chance to circulate. And so then, like you say, when you went back to the gym there to to do some, um, you know, exercises and things, your body said, what? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Yeah. You know, it's just that little bit, little bits and stuff, right? Like just simply getting up and moving outside and going outside the door and going for a small little walk or something like that. Or, you know, just doing something to create that uh, movement is going to make a, a big difference for you. And it's also going to make it so that your brain is working better, your heart's working better, and everything as a whole is working better. Because, you know, with digestion too, the other big thing too is people that are stagnant, they have the hardest time when it comes to digestion. I mean, stagnant, I mean, like not moving. So just sitting in one place or people that are perhaps the bid redden or things like that, or people that are in wheelchairs and, and stuff, because their body doesn't have a chance to move. And so things don't circulate yeah. and, and stuff. So by getting out and doing things where um, aqua aerobics uh, or walking or for that matter, for me, cycling. Oh. Like I'm always going somewhere. I'm always moving. I'm like, I'm a very avid cyclist. So I travel all over my city, uh, different places and stuff. And sometimes I travel downtown, uptown, to the beach and every other place and stuff. So by keeping moving, it means that my body's flowing properly and I'm able to get rid of what I don't need and stuff. Because most people should a minimum have at least Three movements, three movements a day, right? Not one, not two, but three. That's the bowel movement. That's not including when you go to the bathroom to urinate, right? Because that's another component too with your digestion too is urination and stuff, right? And I've heard the not- same exact thing, David. And uh, many of us could be a day too, whatever. I've got friends uh somebody told me eh, sometimes maybe twice a week i'm like are you kidding and but that person isn't very active mm-hmm. and has lots of um fears and anxiety again what does that exactly. mean exactly we're looking exactly. at the future you yeah know? exactly fear anxiety stress is like it's like okay so normally say your your body's colon is like so big give or take or whatever right okay but when you add fear into that equation what happens is your body starts to do this it starts to tighten up and it makes it harder for the body to move what it needs to move around the system to get it out and then what happens is it starts to get hard because it's all the moisture has been sucked out so it starts to bung up and then it it takes time for that to 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 clear out because then when you relax, because, you know, people think that you're pushing when you're going to the bathroom. No, you're not. Actually, you're relaxing. You're relaxing the muscles, and then everything is just supposed to come out in a natural pace and stuff. If you have to push hard, that means that there's a problem there, and there's means that there's some things that you need to address for yourself uh, in your body as a whole. Well, stuff, think, of, right? think of all the toxins in- the body is holding on to. We're out of time. I can keep going. We, now we're in now we're okay. the health <laughs> side of all of this. Um, David... I appreciate as our, that. As our professional of the year, how do we connect with you? Uh, you can connect with me a few ways. You can connect with me through my website, which is live life healthy and wealthy.ca, or you can connect with me by my email, which is live life healthy and wealthy ltd at gmail.com, or you can connect with me through my phone number, which is 250 802 1700. Wonderful talking with you today. Love all your I- perspective. Thank you for showing me your bike helmet. I have the same one. And this year I have yet to get on my bike. And that may be later today. I I enjoy that as well. I just don't go enough and I'm going to, (laughs) I need to. So important. Right. Thanks for being here today. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. We are coming right back. 
Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.